You could be an Avenger. Oh, I'm not a superhero. That is for billionaires and narcissists and adult orphans for some reason. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for five questions and five answers the She-Hulk trailer brought to the MCU. I'm Jennifer Walters. I'm a lawyer. I have great friends. Can we get some shots, please? It's an emergency. For this list, we're looking at what the green heroine's preview revealed and what it made us more curious about. Since we'll be talking about events from various Marvel shows and movies, beware of spoilers ahead. Which hero do you want to see She-Hulk team up with? Let us know in the comments below. Number 10. Will She-Hulk be feared or accepted after her debut? Answered. After Jennifer Walters transforms into her green form, the general public seems to gravitate towards her. I just want to be a normal, anonymous lawyer. Can you tell us where She-Hulk is? Jen, you're a story now. She's able to walk around offices and attend parties without people running in terror throughout the trailer. While Jennifer still might have some haters out in the world, she's doing a lot better than her comic counterpart did. Is there anything more depressing than dating in your 30s? In one version of her origins, people thought She-Hulk was a savage monster who loved committing violent acts. She had to perform a lot of heroic deeds before the police stopped trying to arrest her. Fortunately, the people of the MCU seem to be a lot more accepting of She-Hulk and her powerful abilities. The fact that she's crushing it on dating apps is proof that she's wanted. This is the best date I've had in a while. Oh. Should we split some fries? Let's get those to go. Number 9. Why did Jennifer Walters become She-Hulk? Not answered. We think it's pretty safe to assume that Jennifer inherited her green side from her cousin Bruce Banner. And a frustrating family. Cuz we didn't ask for this, but you still gotta deal with it. As great as it was to see them together, the question of why they're practicing their superhero landings together is still hanging in the air. In She-Hulk's classic origin story, she was nearly assassinated after upsetting a dangerous criminal. Her cousin Bruce witnessed the harrowing scene and decided to save her by donating his blood. Jennifer Walters is the cousin of Bruce Banner. After receiving a blood transfusion from her cousin, Jennifer turned into a super strong and super smart green giant. The series could stick to the source material and get the live-action Jennifer wrapped up in a dangerous case. However, they could go in a new direction and have her get injured while Bruce is dealing with a bigger threat. Either way, we're looking forward to discovering exactly why she went green. Bruce, kind of feels like if I don't transform, I'm gonna die! Yes, yes, yes! No, no! Number 8. When will Frogman make his long-awaited MCU debut? Answered. Next! In a blink-and-you'll-miss-it moment, it was seemingly confirmed that the one and only Frogman will leap into live action for the first time. The amphibious hero is traditionally a guy named Eugene. On one fateful night, he took his dad's villainous leapfrog costume and used it to do good. After Eugene captured a criminal through a combination of the suit's super hopping skills and sheer dumb luck, he became known as Frogman. He went on to have a surprisingly long history that includes a fitting team-up with the mutant Toad. The trailer left it ambiguous whether he'll work with She-Hulk. But since he's just a guy in a suit that allows him to jump better, he better not get on her bad side. Don't make me angry, big guy. You wouldn't like me when I'm angry. Number 7. How often will She-Hulk break the fourth wall? Not answered. During the trailer, Jennifer's snarky comments were mainly directed at people who live within her world. Your transformations are triggered by anger and fear. Those are like the baseline of any woman just existing. But we wonder how often she'll talk to all of you at home. Traditionally, She-Hulk is known for breaking the fourth wall to address the audience and her creators in the comics. The heroine also had awareness of the real world in mediums like video games. Who was I supposed to kill again? That doesn't matter! I can break the fourth wall too, you know. Since we know Tatiana Maslany is great at doing comedy, we'd love to hear what she has to say to the fans. But the frequency of her fourth wall breaks is still up in the air. Whether She-Hulk talks to us constantly or rarely, we hope she'll sit next to Deadpool and speak into the camera in the future. We also have a guest reactor this week, Korg, who was not my first choice, but apparently everyone else was too busy over on Disney+. Plus. Number 6. Will the Wicked Wrecking Crew team appear? Answered. Bulldog! 
Dozer and the Wrecker, AKA the Wrecking Crew. Vacation's over, crew. Let the wrecking begin. The villainous team known as the Wrecking Crew infamously helped subdue She-Hulk during a big comic crossover. In the years since that violent encounter, the heroine has clashed with the evil alliance on a few notable occasions. The quickest way to recognize that She-Hulk is fighting the Wrecking Crew is to look for a guy with a big crowbar and a dude with a powerful helmet. Ever wonder what it's like to get run over by a bulldozer pun? Nah, not really. Coincidentally, the trailer features two men that perfectly match those descriptions. It feels like the preview is hinting that she'll take them down in between legal cases. Watching She-Hulk smash the Wrecking Crew in live action should be tons of fun. Is that a crowbar? These clowns escape prison or a hardware store. Number 5. Who gave Titania her powers? Not answered. After making her mark with roles on shows like The Good Place, Jamila Jamil signed on to play She-Hulk's longtime rival, Titania. Let me give you a hand. Hey! You're wasting your time if you think these law books are gonna get you out of here, sister. The brief glimpses of her character in the trailer got us more excited to see her in the role. While we now know she'll rock a fabulous supervillain outfit, it's unclear how she'll receive her powers. In the comics, Doctor Doom used a special machine to give Titania her super strength and durability. But it's doubtful he'll be introduced out of the blue just to give someone superpowers. The show could use an established villain like Sharon Carter's power broker to connect the dots. It'd be a great twist if a former hero paved the way for a supervillain to rise against She-Hulk. Superhero with a law degree. But you're still locked up with me, counselor. At least the road I took to get here was fun. Number 4. Where in the world will She-Hulk go? Answered. Thanks to posters, signs, and news bands, we are certain that we'll see Jennifer living in Los Angeles, California for at least part of the series. It doesn't look like she'll stay on the West Coast for long. After Jennifer steps away from the wider world to train with Bruce, it seems like she'll be spending time in New York. Currently, Jen is dealing with a civil case, and the defendant is none other than… Steve Rogers! It's so good to see you! During the trailer, we see a law office logo that has the letters G, L, K, and H. That combination of letters is traditionally seen outside of a New York-based law firm that helps superhumans with legal problems. The trailer confirms that Jennifer will be doing something similar on the show. We just started a superhuman law division, and I want you to be the face of it. If the firm is in New York on the show as well, that opens up a major question. Number 3. Will She-Hulk share a courtroom with Daredevil? Not answered. Spider-Man No Way Home established that Matt Murdock, aka Daredevil, is still practicing law in New York City. That's great. Thank you. Well, I have some good news, Peter. I don't believe any of the charges against you are going to stick. Wait, seriously? Since he was willing to help Spider-Man and Punisher try to get out of legal jams, it'd be fitting if he tried to aid other super people. This is a path that could easily bring Matt and Jennifer together. I mean, you're Captain America. What lawyer could possibly discredit you in a court of law? Hey, so, uh, this is awkward. Matt Murdock? If they're both in New York at the same time, they could show off their individual superpowers. However, it might be more interesting to see them go head-to-head -head in a courtroom instead. We don't know whether the Gamma Gal or Devil of Hell's Kitchen would emerge victorious if they faced each other in court, but we are certain they would both need to bring their A-game. How did you just do that? I'm a really good lawyer. Number 2. How did She-Hulk meet Abomination? Answered. One of the main reasons Emil Blonsky became Abomination was so he could defeat the Hulk. Give me a real fight! Since their violent clash ended with the green guy victorious, we were worried that Blonsky would antagonize Jennifer for being related to Bruce. But the trailer hints at a surprisingly different story. Based on context clues, it seems like Jennifer will try to help Abomination get out of the facility he's imprisoned in. Shang-Chi showed us that Blonsky is allowed out of his red jail cell to fight with Sorcerer Supreme Wong. That hurt, Emil. You want me to show you how it feels? Maybe the wizard was the one who convinced people to give Abomination a second chance. While there's always a chance Blonsky could turn on Jennifer, it seems he'll at least make an effort to be good. That's a jar. Maybe he'll start controlling those punches like we practice. 
Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. When does the She-Hulk show take place? Not answered. I'm counting on you, Bruce. We all are. Years after the Ancient One warned Bruce Banner about messing with time, he ironically left us confused about the Marvel timeline. The scientist appears as a fully healthy Smart Hulk during the trailer. Since Banner achieved this form after the Thanos snap, the series must take place after Infinity War. 18 months in a gamma lab. I put the brains and the brawn together. And now look at me. Best of both worlds. But his healthy limbs caused confusion. After Banner performed a second snap, he kept his right arm in a sling. He later appeared to still be recovering in his human form in Shang-Chi's post credit scene. Did Bruce heal and become Smart Hulk again before She-Hulk's story begins? Or does the series take place during the five-year blip? Hopefully, She-Hulk won't take too long to sort out our confusion about its timing. Guys, stay safe. Welcome to the circus. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.